In this lecture, we are going to learn about another structural directive in Angular called as ngif. ngif is a structural directive in Angular and we use ngif directive to completely add or remove a DOM element from the web page based on a given condition. Let's try to understand ngif directive with a simple example. So currently if we go to the web page, here we have this search box and whatever is typed inside this search box that is being displayed here with this paragraph search for result and then the result which the user has searched for. But if I make it empty, you see, now it simply says search result for colon and then there is nothing. So what we want is if the user has typed something inside this search box, then only we want to display search result for and then the text which the user has searched for. But if this search box is empty, if the user has not typed anything inside this, in that case, we also don't want to display this paragraph. This paragraph should only be displayed if the user has typed something inside this text box. Now we are displaying this paragraph inside the search component. So let me close this product list component HTML and product list component TS file. And let's go to our search component. In the search component, we have this search component.html. Let's go there. And in there, we have this paragraph element. So it is this paragraph element which is rendering this text search result for in the web page, basically here. So our requirement is if the user has not typed anything inside this search box, in that case, this paragraph element should not be displayed in the web page. For that, we can use ng if directive. So on this paragraph element, we can use ng if directive because it is this paragraph element which we want to hide or show based on a given condition. And since this ng if is a structural directive because it is either going to remove this paragraph element from the DOM or it will add this paragraph element in the DOM based on if the condition which we assign to this ng if, if it returns true or false. So this ng if is a structural directive. And we have learned that when we use a structural directive, in front of structural directive, we need to use an asterisk. And now inside these double quotes, we can write any TypeScript expression which returns a Boolean value. So here, we want to add this paragraph to the web page if this search text property here, if it is not empty string. So what I will also do is I will initialize this search text with empty string. So the initial value of this search text should be empty string. So if you go to the web page now, you will see that now in the search text, there is nothing rendered. Now you'll also not see that paragraph. That's because currently we have not specified any condition here to this ng if. So by default, it will return false. And that's why that paragraph has been removed from the DOM. If I type something here, in that case also, you will not see that paragraph rendered here. So in that case, it is always going to return false. And because of that, that paragraph is not being displayed here. So here now, let's go ahead and let's write a condition. And the condition here should be this search text. Let's use it here. So when this search text, when it is not equal to empty string, then only we want to display this paragraph in the web page. Let me move this paragraph in a separate line so that it will be more readable. Okay. So this paragraph, we want to display it only when this condition returns true. That means when this search text is not equal to empty string. Now, initially, we have set this search text to empty string. So in that case, when the page loads for the first time, in that case, this paragraph element will not be displayed in the web page. Let's actually see that. If I go to the web page, you will not see that paragraph element rendered. But when we start typing something inside this search box, that value will be assigned to the search text property. In that case, the search text property will not be equal to empty string. So in that case, that paragraph will be rendered here. Let me actually show you that. So let's search for maybe Nike. And now you see that paragraph element has been rendered here. But as soon as that value becomes empty string, that means again, if we don't specify anything inside this search text box, you see that paragraph has been removed from the DOM. So here, this ngf directive based on a condition, it is adding or removing DOM element from the web page. If the condition returns true, it will add the element on which we have used it to the DOM. But if the condition returns false, 
it will remove that element on which we have used this ngif directive from the DOM. I hope the use of this ngif directive is clear to you now. So we learned that the ngif directive is used to add or remove a DOM element from the web page based on a given condition. If the condition returns true, then the ngif directive will add the HTML element on which we have used it to the web page. But if the condition return false, then it will remove that HTML element from the web page. Also, ngif is a structural directive because it manipulates the DOM by adding or removing elements from the DOM. Let's try to understand ngif directive with one more example. Let's close this search component.html and also search component.ts. And in the last lecture, we created this product list component. Let's go to this product list component.html here. And in there, in our last video, we commented this div. So let me go ahead and let me uncomment it. Let's save the changes and let me show you how this div will affect the product card in the web page. So if you go to the web page, you will see that now for each product we have this label 75% of. As you can see, it is for all the products. Right. But here we see this 75% of because here we have hard coded that value. Okay. And also this div will be rendered for all the products. But we don't want that. What we want is we only want to render this div for those products where we have a discounted price. So for example, if I go to product list component.ts, there we have this products array. Inside that array, we have a list of products. And some of the products also have this discount price. Not all the products have the discount price. Here you see this product does not have a discount price. So some of the products has the discount price. For those products only, we want to show this label. Okay. And to do that, all we have to do is on this div, we can use ngif directive. Okay. And since ngif is a structural directive, we need to use an asterisk before it. And now here we need to write a condition. And the condition here will be we only want to display this div on those products where that product has a discounted price. For that, we can use this prod variable. So inside this prod variable, we will have the product for that particular iteration. So we can use that variable here inside this double quotes. And there we can check for discount price. Okay. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now you will only see that label on only those products where we have a discount price. It is not available on all the products, as you can see. So this is another example where you can use ngif directive. Now here, this 75% of this is a hard coded value. But here, instead of showing the hard coded value, we want to show the actual discount for that here. Let's use string interpolation syntax. In there, we want to calculate the discount price for that we can say prod dot discounted price divided by prod dot price multiplied by 100 and it should be discount price with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now you will see the discounted price percentage now here this is not the discounted price this is basically the percentage reduction in the original price but here we want to show the discounted price for that all we have to do is we have to subtract this expression from 100. So we can say 100 minus and let's wrap it within parenthesis so that it will be more readable and understandable. Okay, so whatever this expression will return, we want to subtract it from 100 and it will give us the discounted price. So if you go to the web page now, now it should give us the discounted price. So here on this product, we have 12% discount. On this product, we have 22 point something percent discount. On this product, we have 13.79. On this product, we have 25 percent discount. So we can see this discount percentage. But in the discount percentage, I don't want to show decimals. OK, for that, what I can do is let me again wrap this complete expression within parenthesis. OK, so this complete expression is going to return us the discount percent. On that, I will use to fixed. And there I will pass zero. That means I don't want any decimal numbers after the decimal point. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page again. 
and now it should show the rounded discount percentage let's also show percentage after the number so after this let's say percent and i'll also say off and now it looks good okay so 25 percent off 14 percent off 25 percent 22 percent 19 percent all right so in this lecture we learned how we can use ng if directive basically using ng if directive we can add or remove a dom element from the web page based on a given condition if the condition returns true the dom element will be added to the web page if the condition returns false the dom element will be removed from the web page and here we are using that ng if directive and we are specifying the condition this basically means that whichever product will have this discount price only on those products it will show this discount label this div all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day